Hi, welcome to Canva Live with Design School and a very warm welcome to our workshop today. My name is Shelly and I'm a Partnerships Marketing Manager at Canva. I'm joined by Cherie, Creative Partner Manager at TikTok. Thank you for the intro, Shelly. Hello, everyone. It's wonderful to connect with you all. I've been at TikTok for almost two years and I'm looking forward to sharing some TikTok creative knowledge with you in the session today. Back to you, Shelly. Thanks, Cherie. We'll also be hearing from EJ, our motion art director at Canva, a little later as well. Today, in collaboration with our partner TikTok, we present Boost Your TikTok Ads with Canva. In this session, we'll be covering four parts. First, Shuri from TikTok will be sharing knowledge on tried and true creative best practices. Then we'll jump onto the Canva editor with EJ and see him work his magic in creating a TikTok video ad. Lastly, we'll walk through how to share your design content onto TikTok and share some helpful resources you can take away after the session. So before jumping in, I wanna start off with a quick icebreaker question. What do you find most challenging when designing your TikToks? Awesome, seeing some really interesting responses. So now I'll pass it along to Cherie to share some TikTok creative best practices. Thank you, Shelly. Are you ready to find out what some of the creative best practices to help boost your ad performance? Today, I'll be taking you through some creative tips and tricks to help you achieve performance results you've been wanting to achieve for your campaigns. When it comes to advertising, there are a lot of different elements you need to take into consideration to ensure the decisions that you make for your assets that you produce will help achieve the ultimate campaign success. So at TikTok, we have analyzed the creative data to help us understand what creative elements are needed to ensure great performance results for your TikTok campaigns. With the information we have gathered from the analysis, we have developed universal creative best practice guides. Shoot high res. When it comes to the quality of creative, we advise you to use creative with a minimum of 720 pixel resolution. When advertisers use creative with a minimum of 720 pixels, we have found that there's a 312% lift in conversions compared to creatives below that 720 res. Go big full screen. We highly recommend you use a nine by 16 aspect ratio to ensure you maximize the surface area of any device for maximum creative performance. Assets that use nine by 16 aspect ratio had a 91% conversion lift compared to those with other aspect ratios such as a 16 by nine. Rally them to act. We found by adding in a clear CTA within the creative, there is a 152% lift in conversion. So make sure you put in that clear CTA for your creatives. Make some noise. Include audio of any type to your creatives. The more relevant sounds you use, the better it will be. For example, let's say you're selling some healthy homemade freeze-dried snacks. Adding in the crunch sound of the snack will be useful or like a sound to complement the overall creatives will be super handy as well. By adding in sound, we found that there was a 16% lift in impressions compared to assets with no sound elements. Keep it short and sweet. On average, we found if the video length ranges between 21 to 34 seconds, it helped drive a 2% lift in impressions and a whopping 280% lift in conversion. The shorter and catchier you make your creatives, the better the overall performance will be. Here is a quick little summary of the universal creative elements outlined. All you need to do is remember these five universal tips and tricks. Create a resolution, minimum of 720 pixel resolution. Ensure you embrace the power of sound and have sound elements. Have a clear CTA within the creative to prompt the user to take action and keep your video short and sweet between 21 to 34 seconds. And finally, have your creative in a vertical format, so the nine by 16 to maximize your device screen. Now, I'd like to take you through some more fun and exciting creative best practices for our e-commerce advertisers and market. Mix up your creatives. We found that there is a 38% lift in conversion when advertisers use a variety of different scenes in their assets compared to a continuous shot where products were showcased. Having elements of transitions give the creative a more exciting, fun effect, which will keep your users more engaged, leading to a better campaign outcome. Get them to act. 
Use closed captions through an on-screen text that is clearly displayed with an offer or a CTA. We found advertisers who do this had a 16% lift in impressions and an 80% lift in the conversions for their campaigns. Voiceover and an offer winning combo. By adding a voiceover, describing the products with potentially an offer can help you deliver some great results. We found that there was a 9% lift in impressions and also an 87% improvement in conversions when the creative had these elements in it. Just a quick FYI, this best practice is not validated for the EU and Brazilian regions. And finally, a quick reminder of the three e-commerce best practices. Number one, make it lively by mixing up the creators by adding in transitions, different scenes to keep it more fun and creative and exciting and also engaging. Number two, get them to act by using closed captions to outline an offer or a clear CTA to prompt them to take action. And finally, number three, by using a real voiceover, it will help illustrate the product showcase and the creatives. And if you add an offer as well, it'll definitely prompt the user to take action. Hope these TikTok creative tips and tricks will help you achieve better campaign performance. And now I'd like to hand it over to Shelly, who'll be taking you through how you can create through Canva. Thanks, Sheree. Some great tips and amazing seeing all the lift numbers as well. I'm actually planning on creating a TikTok account for my dog later this year. So we'll definitely take what you covered to heart. Now that we covered some super helpful tips and guidance from Sheree, we'll show you how you can utilize Canva to create beautiful, engaging TikToks. For those new or unfamiliar with Canva, I just wanna do a quick introduction of Canva. So Canva is a graphic design platform that makes it easy to design anything for free, from presentations to infographics, to t-shirts, to TikToks, and much, much more. Canva enables anyone, anywhere to create beautiful designs with ease. With our intuitive and easy to use drag and drop design platform, Canva democratizes design and makes it accessible to all. Available in more than 100 languages with users in over 190 countries, Canva's mission is to empower the world to design. Canva is free and available to everyone, so you can immediately jump into the Canva editor and instantly begin designing. As for those who are interested in unlocking more premium features, we do offer Canva Pro, which is a paid subscription offering premium templates, photos, videos, as well as other beloved features like brand kit, background remover, and magic resize. So last year in August, Canva and TikTok officially announced our partnership to help streamline creative advertising for businesses. Through this partnership, Canva and TikTok strive to improve ad creation workflows, empowering anyone whether you're a CEO, a social media manager, or even the accountant of a business to create and design engaging TikToks resonant to the TikTok community. So over the past few months, Canva's teamed up with TikTok to create 78 highly optimized TikTok in-feed ad templates. They're live and ready for you to use on Canva now. To find them, just simply search TikTok in-feed ad on canva.com to see the full library and start customizing and personalizing it for your business. What makes it really easy to customize any of these templates and make it immediately on brand for your business is having your brand assets preset in Canva so you can apply them with a click of a button. Canva's brand kit allows you to store your brand palette, fonts, and logos so you can quickly apply them to any design. Let's take a look at how to do that in this next video. Let's set up your brand kit. Canva's Brand Kit is a centralized feature for all your brand assets. Start by naming your brand kit. Click to upload or drag and drop to add your logos. Create a color palette, name it, and add brand colors using hex or CMYK codes, like this. Add multiple color palettes for primary and secondary colors, giving your team more design flexibility. Lastly, add a headings, subheading, and body style by searching fonts, adding sizes, and styles. If your brand font is missing, you can upload a font for your team to access. Canva Pro allows you to set up multiple brand kits, perfect for working with clients or across multiple campaigns. Your team will have easy access to all brand assets in the Canva editor. To see how these optimized TikTok ad templates can be personalized for your brand, 
we've invited Canva Motion Art Director, EJ, to share his expertise and insights. He has his brand kit preset in Canva and will show you how to apply those brand assets quickly and easily. If you'd like to design along with EJ, the primary template he'll be using is this one called the light green, white, blue, groovy. Now off to EJ. So hello everyone, this is EJ. I'm a motion art director for Video Squad. And today I'll be teaching you how to create TikTok and feed ads using the Canva Video Suite. So we'll be covering a lot of stuff today, so let's get right into it. But before we proceed to the main course, I'll be discussing first how you can integrate your branding assets in Canva using the Brand Kit. Please take note that the Brand Kit is only available to pro users, so I highly encourage you all to go pro. So Brand Kit is a Canva feature that allows you to store some of your branding assets, particularly your logos, color palettes, and fonts. To access the Brand Kit, just go to the side panel, and on the left-hand corner of your screen, under Tools, you'll see the Brand Kit. So just click on it, and you'll be led in this particular window. For this specific demo, we'll be creating a TikTok and feed ad for a mock brand called Natura. Well, as you can see, to save time, I already pre-made the brand kit for Natura. As you can see here, I already uploaded the logo, assigned the color palette, and set up the fonts uh, beforehand. And once you're done setting up your brand kit, we can now proceed to designing. To search for TikTok and feed ad templates, just simply go to the search bar and simply type TikTok and feed ad. So as you can see in this window, you, you can see lots of great templates already. But for now, let's just choose to start with the blank slate for me to show you some more selections and features of Canva. If you can see on the left side panel, you'll see all the available TikTok and feed ad templates in Canva. And for easy navigation, we also divided them or assigned them to different subcategories. So we have apparel, beauty and personal care, food and beverage, household products, tech and electronics. And for this demo, since Natura is a skincare brand, we'll be exploring the beauty and personal care in feed ad subcategory. All right, so when choosing a template, always consider your brand and the nature of the platform you are uploading to. Always choose a template that resonates with your brand and product. And since right now we're creating for TikTok, we want to look for a template that is simple, uh, straightforward, and yet catchy. So for this one, I think I'll be using this particular template since it ticks all the boxes. To apply it on our timeline, you can either click on specific scenes, like so, or click the Apply All Pages. Well, for now, let's click Apply All Three Pages button. As you can see, all the pages are applied on a timeline alongside with the initial music assigned to the template. And just simply hit play and watch the quick preview. Now, if you can still remember the brand kit we talked about earlier, this is its moment to shine. So though this template is, so uh, well, it's pretty well designed, we want to make it our own. You can actually do it by simply applying your brand logo, colors, and fonts to the template. Now, let's start with the colors and fonts first. To change the colors of the elements, simply click on it. And you can see the color boxes on the upper middle left corner of the toolbar. Click on the color box and you can see that your brand color palette will appear on the side panel under your brand kit's name. In this case, it's Natura. 
Just simply apply the color in the templates like so. Same with the fonts. Just simply click on the text you want to change. Then click on the font name on the upper middle left corner of the toolbar. Then select the font you have under your brand kit. Then you can just apply it to all the pages. And lastly, apply your logo by simply clicking logos, as you can see on the taskbar on the left-hand corner, and simply drag and drop your uploaded logo on the template. Again, don't forget to preview your video. If you want to replace the video from the template, you can easily do it by clicking more on the taskbar, which you can see on the left-hand corner, and select videos. You can just type any search term on the side panel search bar to find the video you prefer. For now, let's type in skincare and you can scroll down and browse Canvas video library until you're happy with the video you see. Once you're done, just simply drag and drop the video on top of the existing one like so. And there you have it. Now, if you want to edit the duration of the clip, just simply grab the handles of the video clip on the timeline and drag it sideways like so. Then hit play to review. But right now, I'm pretty happy with the existing video on the template. So I just simply click the undo button on the menu bar at the top. So we can go back to the original video we have earlier. Now, music is one of the most important components of TikTok and feed ad or TikTok in general. So it's really important to choose an appropriate music to go with the video. Well, the current music on the template sounds, well, uh, it's a bit generic, to be honest. So to replace it, simply click more on the taskbar, select audio. For this uh, specific demo, we can search for something like pop. Okay, I think this sounds awesome, so let's uh, make use of this one. Since Canva now allows us to add multiple tracks at once, simply drag and drop the song on top of the existing one, and feel free to delete the old one. Well, you can always choose the best part of the song by simply double-clicking the audio timeline and dragging it sideways like this one. 
since this video is pretty short, you can just go straight to the climax of the music for maximum engagement. Okay, so we're almost done. And to spice things up even more, we can actually add or replace the template's animation. Though the animation is just bonus for TikTok videos, but it's still good to add them on our in-feed ads to make them more engaging. So to apply text animations, just click on the text, click animate on the toolbar at the top, and if you can see on the left side panel, you'll see all the animations available in Canva library. Well, for this one, I'll be choosing shift. Then again, click play to preview. Now, it's important to keep in mind that even you're not designing for TikTok, you should still keep your designs clean in general. Always be intentional with your designs and don't clutter it with too much unnecessary elements. And the same idea should be applied to effects and animation in general. And there you have it. Once you're happy with your design, just click share button. As you can see on the right-hand corner of the menu bar, click download. Before proceeding, make sure the file is in MP4 and all the pages are selected. Then the final step would be to hit download again and you're done. Okay, so yeah, that's it for me. And I hope you enjoy and learn something from this session. So thanks again, everyone, and see you all again next time. Thanks, CJ, for the great demo. Now that he's done personalizing a template, he's now ready to share with his teammates across the world, which Canva makes super easy to connect, share, and collaborate, no matter where you are, anywhere in the world. You can simply tag teammates on the design, and they'll be notified there's a design ready for their review. They can reply to comments or just make changes directly in the design. Now that EJ has completed the design and received team approval, we're now ready to upload and launch our TikTok ad in three easy steps. EJ has already covered step one of downloading the Canva TikTok design as an MP4 file. And now it's time to upload it to TikTok, which Sheree will help cover. So thanks, Shelly. You can upload your creatives through the asset library. To get to the asset library, you can follow these three key steps. Step one, hover your mouse to the top navigation bar and click on the asset tab where a dropdown will appear. Click on the creator tab after that. Step two, click on the video tab found on the left-hand side. And step three, click on upload and you can drag and drop your creatives. Once the creatives have been uploaded into the asset library, you can jump into your campaign setup and in the ad section, you can click on the library tab and choose the creatives you have uploaded from the asset library. An alternative method is to directly upload your creatives when you are setting up your campaign in the ad section by clicking the upload button. There you can then drag and drop your creatives in. Thanks Shuri. And everyone, thanks so much for joining us. To wrap up the session, we'd love to share some helpful resources. Also, to encourage you to put this session's learnings into practice. In collaboration with TikTok, we're also doing a small design competition with details to follow. To help you get your TikTok video design juices going, we'd love to see you utilize one of the optimized TikTok in-feed ad templates and see it live in action. Before April 15th, we encourage you to utilize one of Canva's TikTok in-feed ad templates, personalize it to your brand, and then publish it onto TikTok with the hashtag Canva TikTok webinar. Canva and TikTok will then personally select and reach out to some of the winning designs with some special prizes. But before we go, we have a few resources for you to help you further your learning in your own time. Once again, if you'd like to jump in and start tinkering around and designing a TikTok ad, explore our library of optimized TikTok team approved templates. 
Search TikTok InFeed ad on Canva to browse the full collection of recently launched templates. For more Canva Design School events and courses, visit us at canva.com slash design school slash events. To tap into the Canva community and see what other Canva users are creating and asking, join our Facebook community called Canva Design Circle at facebook.com slash group slash Canva Design Circle. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in another Canva Live workshop soon.